Yo, shalom, all praises to the Most High. Yo, Yahushua, this is Sounds from YYBY. So, as you can see what I'm about to talk about, um, before I even get my opinion on this, this video is not about trying to discourage people to u not use what they want to use. That's not about that because end of the day, use what you want to use. Use what benefits you. Spend your money on what you feel you need to spend on. My video is not about trying to discourage people to not or try to throw a narrative out there or try to control somebody about what they should do or what they shouldn't do. It's not about that because end of the day, you have to use what's comfortable for you. You your own man. You get what I'm saying? But what I want to say is that I want to, what I'm speaking on is about trying to get people who misunderstand certain things, who have a certain mental where they try to, you know, they, they don't understand. I don't want them to cheat themselves. I don't want them to cheat themselves. When you, when you make a decision, I want you to make that decision of going in knowing that you, what you're doing is making sense. I don't, I don't want you to, I'm trying to help you not to spend your money on something when you could have did it a better way and save your money and everything and so on and so forth. That's what I'm saying. That's what, so VSC instruments, right? So a lot of people say, well, Reasons has a lot of the old sounds and they have a lot of the same sounds. How? That's impossible. When you got, when it's a, when, you know, you, when it's, it's a synthesizer that creates thousands of sounds because what's going on is that a lot of people would buy Reason and want to use third-party plugins. And I'd be like, why you still want to use third-party plugins in a DAW that has sounds on, the sound bank is ridiculous more than any DAW sound bank ever. And they say, well, the set, the, when I'm using Serum and these other DAW, these VSC instruments, they have newer sounds. I said newer sounds. Okay, cool. And so y'all go charge, y'all go buy an arm, y'all go spend your money, spend an arm and a leg on a VSC instrument, right? And all they do is just add new patches to it. All they do is add new patches to it, new presets, and give you that. And you update and you pay more money. Now, that's, that, if that's what you want to do, that's cool. See, but you can do the same thing in reason. Like how people don't understand that, how they don't know that. You still can buy new presets and new patches for reasons to add to your artillery. That's the same thing. It's no old sounds. Sounds been around 360. You either got real sounds that we can buy a real instrument, or you got fake sounds, which is synthesized that's created by something, you know, you know, whatever. Like, so reasons is the synth world of any instrument. It has every instrument available. So when somebody say, Oh, it don't have a new sound, like where where are you looking? Are you looking like like what sound are you talking about? Because then on top of that, every VST name their own sounds, their own names. They name it their own name. They don't always name it. For example, like if you say, well, you know what? I want to I'm looking for a uh, electric piano. No matter where you go in the world, electric piano sound. Has a certain sound, no matter how much you try to manipulate, it's always called a electric piano. But when it comes to a synthesizer sound, and this one company create this certain type of sound, and they name it a certain name, that sound could still be in another dog. You just don't know it's, it's just called different. You just have to search through your, your, your catalog. You have to, you know, you just got to search through your catalog and identify it. You know, but in certain sounds, it's, no matter what, you, you, the sound is always what it's called because those are the real instruments. Now, if y'all talking about synthesizers, then they all name different. They all name many different things, you know. Then there's some that, you know, has a particular name. But all I'm saying to y'all is that if, if, if your excuse is not to use reason or reasons stock because of uh, because of you think it don't have those sounds, then why are you not buying presets for the dog? You get what I'm saying? Why are you not buying presets for... The tools that you already use. Y'all have CPU problems because you keep using third-party plugins. And you wonder why they're not functioning right inside your dog. They're not functioning right. They're shutting down and everything. So all I'm saying to y'all in the world is that, yeah, if you want, that's what you want to buy, cool. If, if you want to use third-party, cool. I'm just trying to show y'all that it's a better way where you don't have to use third-party. Because 
nobody can't deny that Reason Sound Bank is not, it's too dope, man. It's too dope from the drums to the real sounds to the fake sounds. And if you need more sounds, whatever it is, then go buy the, the refill. That's why they call it refills. But if you say that the reason why you don't want to use reasons because uh, it has old sounds or I don't have enough sounds or I don't have new sounds. Well, you're going to go spend more money on a, a atmosphere or another VSC instrument that sometimes you still have to update to make it be compatible with reasons new update or any other dog. All they do is charge you more for presets. You're going to pay three, four hundred dollars for a VSC instrument. And you still, and when it come out with a new one, you're gonna pay for its new presets. That's all you're doing. So you might as well buy the refills with reason and just drop the refills in. That's it. This is why why be why. Peace.